Hello everybody, <coughs> so this is your weekly card reading for the 5th through to the 11th of June. It is a beautiful sunny summer's day here, so I've got my nice dress on and I'm making the most of the sunshine. Um, so let's see what the cards have got in store for us and see if it's going to be a sunny, happy week. For today, which is Friday through until Sunday, we have the Fall of Raphael card from the Archangel Power Tarot. Now, this card speaks about things may not be happening as you want them to. Um, but there are lots of opportunities available to you right now. But your focus is quite narrow, you're being quite negative, or you're only focusing on the certain parts of the problem or the certain part of the solution. So what this card is asking you to do is to increase your awareness to increase your focus so that you can see actually there are more options available to you. There are more ways that you can deal with what's happening so that you can move forward. Um, if you're in the headspace of you know, questioning and reflecting and really kind of seeing what's happening with your life, it's actually a really positive thing for you. You may not feel that way right now, but it is, because what it's doing is giving you time for real looking inward at yourself, really understanding what it is you need and who it is you are as a person, so that you know what you can do to move forward and be happy and be at peace with yourself. So, although the situation at the moment may feel rocky, may feel like things aren't happening as you want them to, Again, we know that everything happens for a reason. Mercury retrograde is with us until the 11th. Um, so <clears throat> that's still happening with um, reviewing things and reevaluating things and reflecting on things. So it's a real fits in with that. And that's really your message for the weekend is really to spend some time doing that. You know, meditation is a good one. As is journaling, writing stuff down, really spending time seeing where you are and where you want to be and if the two things meet up together and if they don't what can you do to change things moving forward because <clears throat> ultimately you are on the path of your own life you are the the director the author the writer of your own script of your life and you can make it what you want it to be you can change it at any time you can cut scenes you can add bits in so Know that you are you have the power, you're not powerless, and you can make your life what you want it to be. But see the magic in life, understand that things are not as bad as they may appear, and if they are seeming bad right now, that bad things don't last forever. Things are always moving forward and things are always changing. For Monday and Tuesday, we have the Nine of Gabriel card. Um, <clears throat> this is asking you to stay focused and determined on your path, to keep pushing forward, to keep really f doing the work and doing the things that you need to do. Do not allow procrastination to become part of your vocabulary, to become part of your daily routine. There are so many distractions out there if you want them, you know, even things that you would normally not enjoy become a welcome distraction if you're looking for one, you know, if there's work that I know that I need to get done, but I'm feeling a bit like, Ugh, I'm a bit lazy or a bit don't want to do it today, even housework can seem like a welcome distraction when you're looking for one, and I don't like housework, <laughs> so I mean the key distractions for us are television and social media, uh, being on the computer or your phone, so we need to find a way to stop those things or at least not stop them altogether but to have them in moderation and not to allow them to take away our valuable time that needs to be spent doing the work that we need to do. You know you need to keep pushing forward, you need to keep going on the way that you want to and you can't let anybody stop you including yourself you know. You really have an important mission, important work to do here on earth and <clears throat> no one's going to do it for you you know. So you need to keep pushing forward. Be open um, to and open-minded to different ways of doing things. Um, 
there are different possibilities, there are different viewpoints that you could use, take into a consideration, take into account, that you may not have thought of previously. Um, that old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, yes, that can apply sometimes, but right now, you'd be better off thinking, okay, that, that works for me, but maybe there's a different way to do this. Maybe doing things slightly differently or looking at things slightly differently would also give me different benefits, would also bring something new to the table. And so don't, <clears throat> don't just write stuff off because you haven't done it before or the way that you always do it is good, you know? Just be open-minded to things. But keep pushing forward, keep moving forward, keep working because you do have important work to do, like I said. Finally, for Wednesday and Thursday, we have the five of Raphael. We've had the four, and now we have the five. <clears throat> you have some disappointment in your life right now. You're feeling a bit flat. You're feeling a bit negative. And things haven't turned out the way that you hoped that they would, you know? You had an image inside your head of how things were going to be and what has transpired has not fitted in with that mental picture, that mental movie inside your head. But everything happens for a reason, you know? We all have an overarching divine plan. Um, and there is a higher source than ourselves who oversees uh, what we're doing and of course then the angels then help us to fit in line with that for our highest and greatest good. We do have free will, we can make our own decisions, you know, we are in charge of our own destiny, but it all fits in with the grand scheme of things, you know, we're not, we don't live in a bubble, we are, there's seven billion people on the planet and we are one of them and we all part of the jigsaw, our lives affect other people and our lives affect the grand scheme of things. So everything that happens in your life, good and bad, is happening for a reason, you know? It's all a learning experience. Life is the greatest earth school that we are on. And every situation, every relationship, whether, again, whether they are good or bad, is a learning opportunity. A learning opportunity to grow, to develop, and to learn the lessons that we actually came here in this body, in this lifetime, you know, that's what we came here for. We all came here to learn certain things and the situations, experiences that we go through are in accordance with those things. So it could be um, empathy, it could be understanding, it could be strength, it could be compassion, whatever it is, but everything that we are going through helps us to learn those greater lessons. And if you don't learn the lesson the first time, it will come back around wearing different trousers. You know, it will come back around for you in a different guise, in a different setup, but it will be the same lesson. And it comes back a little bit louder. So, say for example, you've had a bad relationship and <clears throat> the lesson that you were supposed to learn was strength, but you didn't stand up for yourself. You, you know, you let somebody push you around, you weren't assertive. The lesson will come back around, but this time the situation may be slightly different, but you, it will be slightly worse because you're not learning, you're not listening, you're not paying attention. And so you will it'll keep happening until you learn the lesson that you were supposed to learn. And then something else will come around because we are always learning, we are always growing, and we are always developing as people. So everything is happening for a reason. So if things haven't happened the way that you have wanted them to, it's very easy to get into a victim mode, very poor me, why is this happening to me, you know, it's so unfair, why is everyone picking on me? But you need to release all those, all that negativity, all that regret, you need to set it free because it's not doing you any favours. It's weighing you down and keeping you stuck in that mentality and the longer you stay in there, the harder it is to get back out and become positive again and to keep moving forward. So release the negativity, release the regret, and all you have to do is be willing to release it and it will be taken from you. You don't have to do any magic spells or 
you know, anything, you know, bark under a full moon or anything like that. You just need to be willing to forgive, willing to forgive yourself and willing to release the regret, release that negativity. And once you do, it will be taken away from you. Once you do that, you can then look forward to your long-term happiness and embrace opportunities that are coming for that because they are always there. They really are. Opportunities are always there. But when we're in the negative headspace and when we're feeling sorry for ourselves, we don't see them because we don't want to see them. So by releasing those negative feelings, by releasing those feelings of poor me and victim and regret and wishing things had been done differently, then you can take the blinkers off and see what's available for you so that you can move forward um, on your long-term goals and you can move forward to being uh, peaceful and happy. So I hope all that makes sense. I hope um, it's given you a lot to think about. Um, if you guys do need me for any more guidance um, or any more support in any way, please, please, please get in touch with me. I am on Facebook, of course, and Katie Golby, or you can contact me through my website, which is psychicmama.co.uk. There are readings available for June, um, which includes the, the tarot cards, angel cards, um, I also do auras, uh, past lives, I do numerology, I do channeled angel drawings with messages from your angels. So please contact me and if I can help you, of course I will. It will be my absolute honour and blessing to help you. So I hope you guys have a great week. I hope it doesn't go too rough for you. Know that Mercury Retrograde is ending very soon, thank goodness, and we can all <coughs> move forward and to be more positive. Um, I send you all my love, I send you lots of light, and I send you lots of angel blessings, and I hope you have a beautiful, happy week. Namaste.